Hello everyone, welcome to Wati Tutorials in the new Wati interface. In this video today, I'm going to give you an overview about the Wati platform. Once you get your Wati account, how you can easily get started and navigate the platform. And in the next videos, in this playlist, I'm going to have a deep dive of each tool on how you can make use of it in order to support your client, to build your own chatbot, etc. Let's take a look right now. So once you have signed up for Wati, you will be given this Wati login with your own Wati environment that is connected with your number that you signed up with Wati. And on the right top corner, you will have the credential that you have logged into the Wati account that is sent to you via email. First of all, once you have your Wati account, you will see that on the top, it is the toolbar, teaming box, that is for communicating with your client. As a, as a human agent, you can use the teaming box to support your client, to assign to different agent to support the client. And you will see all the chat history and conversation here. In the contact tab, this is the centralized place to store all your client contact, no matter it is the incoming ones, or you can manually add the contact that you already have a client list on. Broadcast is where you can send outbound broadcast notification to your client and also submit the template for approval. Automation is where you can send your own message that as auto reply to your client, build your own chatbot based on the flow builder, etc. And dashboard is the place that you can see right now with the real time dashboard that you can track different data based on different time period. And of course, with um, Wati that's built on top of the WhatsApp API, you will have the API right here. So now let's go to the setting first when you first get started with your account. Once you have your own account, you will want to first set up your profile that will be client facing. So first of all, you can upload your own profile picture, add your own business address, website, business description, etc. And this will be visible to all your clients that message your number, no matter that is fire um, the chat button on your website, or they scan the QR code, or they were your old clients that have your business number that would like to message you. So this is an important place for you to store, um, to have your business description here, and for your client to find the information about you. So secondly, after you have set up the business information, you may want to go to the business compliance to fill in other detail about your business as well. For example, your legal name, your business type, etc. After that, when you go to general, you can set up the time zone for your business. This is important when you would like to send your out of office message, for example, then that will base on your time zone to trigger the message that you would like to um, send to your client if you're not in the office hour. So that will be the basic setting. After you have set up the um, basic information of your business, the next step I will go for is operator management. Right here, you will see different operator for your team. When you get started, there will not be any operator in your account. So you will need to add operator. And you can start to add your team here in order to support this same business number of your company. You will need to fill in their first name, last name, email for them to log into their account, password, etc. Later on, they can change their password with forget password in Wati and they can set up their own password. And also right here, you can give them different role. If they are only an operator that um, they are going to reply message, you can give them an operator role. If they are a marketer of your platform, you can give them the role of broadcast manager and template manager. So there are different roles. If you have any questions about the role, here, right corner, you have this question mark. Then you can type row here and you will have the detailed access menu of each row that you can get a reference to. And after this one, I will go to contact in order to add the existing contact of your client to the Wati platform for you to first get started and also later on to send broadcast message to your client. So this is the easy setup for your Wati account. 
Later on in another video, I'm going to explain each tab in order for you to understand more about each uh, function about Wati. Let's stay tuned and see the next video.